Well, good morning, everyone. I hope you're all having a wonderful new year, 2019. Uh, as you can see here, I've got a little mess that I'm working on. We are still looking at probably spring before moving into the house. This is a uh, Stanley Number no. 5. I found this at a flea market the other day. And as you can see, it's, you know, it seems to be in pretty good shape. It was really rusted up. And I'm getting down now to where I'm going to be doing the finishing up inside on these walls. Uh, as you can see over here, this is my uh, lumber rack that I built. And, and I would suggest doing that uh, when you're working on a house that's this small. Uh, find a location. This is actually where the kitchen's going to be. And uh, make you a rack because I, some of these boards I've moved around four times and and it just gets them up out of the way and off the floor and, and easy access to get to them. Uh, I got me a nice little air nailer and uh, it uh, it works good. I mean it's just it's handy. Of course you can see these uh, these boxes of nails which are the 18 gauge brad nails. Uh, if I'm not mistaken this is my fifth box and there's a thousand so that's I've used 5,000 of them so far. And of course, I next time I went back, I bought a bunch extra because I know I'm going to need them. And uh, boy, them little boogers hold, let me tell you. And, and here's, the, here's the nails that uh, go in my uh, Freeman nailer. And we've been using it. I was having a problem with the transition on this ceiling, how I was going to do it. But it, this worked out really good. And uh, it's going to make it look kind of nice. It's going to make the ceiling look like it's kind of uh, offset and, and jumped up. It's uh, the ceiling's a little over eight foot, eight foot two or something like that, and and you need something like that in in this smaller house because the walls are only you know probably seven maybe seven and a half feet. I don't know. I, I haven't. I don't. I measured them, but I don't recall right now what they are. You know, I, that's the reason why the first house had to be sent back. They didn't uh, didn't raise the ceiling up, and uh, I did want that. Uh, you know, I'm not extremely tall, but, uh, you know, if, if you do decide to add a ceiling fan or something like that, I don't I don't want a ceiling fan up there whooping around up next to my head. I spent a lot of extra money on my insulation. And not only did I buy this insulation, I also bought the sound barrier. Of course, it's all sound barrier, and it all helps with, with sound. It's, it's not going to make it soundproof, but I'm going to install it in all the interior walls, too. And that way it will keep down, you know, sounds between, you know, somebody's in here in the kitchen talking and somebody's in the bedroom taking a nap, you, you, you're less apt to wake them up.